Crashes involving deer this time of year are a lot more common. It is mating season and we just had the time chains and wildlife experts say it's actually safer to hit a deer than it is to swerve and try to go around it. 10 News reporter Chrissa Lucas joins us to explain how we can stay safe on the roads. Chrissa. John, TWRA urges you to be extra careful when driving this time of the year. The agency says they average about six to 7,000 deer-related crashes every year. Life in the city is chaotic for J.R. Atkins. It's totally different. I mean, it's the urban sprawl. I mean, it's the urban area that, I mean, I don't relate to it very well. Being in nature feeds his body and soul. When you grow up in a an outdoors type family, you're hunting and you're fishing and you're, um, you know, you're doing that at a very early age. My, my son's the same way. During buck season for hunters, deer can be dangerous for drivers. They're on the roadway at the same time that deer are moving and we just want them to be aware that they could uh, cross over in front of them and to uh, try to avoid hitting them if they can. Deer end up in strange places this time of the year. Such as crossing roadways or in people's front and backyards and even in shopping centers. They just, they completely lose their minds this time of year. So just be aware you're probably going to see some more deer in some unusual places. If you hit a deer and everyone's okay and the deer is still alive, contact TWRA. And hopefully a wildlife officer will be available to come out and humanely euthanize the animal. Uh, from my experience, if a deer is hit and it's still alive, if it's able to get up under its own power and leave the area, it'll probably survive. Atkins says deer season feeds his family. I do all my own processing for the most part, so I know exactly where that deer has been. I know it's how it's been handled. Every process that goes through to bringing it from the field to the table, I've been a part of. In Tennessee, we have the roadkill bill, meaning it's legal to take home and eat an animal hit by traffic, uh, uh, but you just have to notify law enforcement or TWRA. John? Chrissa Lucas on the story for us tonight. Thank you, Chrissa. Black Friday.